See plenty of stars out. Yes, dipper and another dipper. Ryan's belt. It's good about living out in the country, no light pollution. Light pollution. <laughs> so she's buried in uh, that section over there. I think there's a grave for like the Spanish American War or something like that. Yeah. Over that section over there somewhere. This looks like a lot. This looks really good. Whenever we came to bury her, mm -hmm. the back of the storm. Yeah, a bunch of trees yeah, and stuff it down. Was bad. It was bad. I was going to come out here <clears throat> and clear, literally clear paths, and then clear the grave site. <laughs> Hey, my daddy's truck. So what she uh, pass away from? Just natural causes, or? Yeah. yeah. She was 92. Huh. Yeah, she had, her, she had, I mean, it was old age. It was, you know, liver was hanging and stuff. Mm. Let me see this. He went back that way to go do all the stuff. He was one of these. Looking for a Wanda. Here we go. Charles Carroll, this is Wanda. Hmm. So he's in the Navy. So yeah, I've been out here. Yeah, so he's a Navy vet. <clears throat> No, uh, no headstone, I guess he has, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Obviously, yeah. yeah, this is, this, this is, okay. This is Franklin Free. This is her best friend, childhood friend and stuff. Uh, uh, this is the childhood friend. Hmm. She's not here. Okay, she's not, she's still alive. She's still alive. Um, this is, Miss Free's going to be here. Uh, whenever that time comes. Hmm. Cool. <clears throat> Jane's daddy is Charles Carroll. Hmm. Jane's older brother is <coughs> Charles Ryan Carroll. He goes by Ryan. Hmm.
going back to ours. Or, uh, going back, uh, like little lights. Uh, yeah, like like light flowers. Uh, and, uh, solar power. Okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And there's a bunch of them. Yeah, this one is unique. And I don't want to drive through, walk around. This stuff. Uh, I wonder if this is a child's grave. I don't know. They've got paint. Is that old spice? This is the blue paint? Yeah, old spice. Old spice, tomorrow, tobacco. This is the name of Robert. Is that what it is? Robert. Tell me Robert what took me off. Skeleton. It's supposed to be up here. Yeah. Oh shit. It is, it's always sad to see someone die young. Yeah. There's uh, over here, on this uh, section over here, mm -hmm. I think there's like a 15 year old kid, something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, back that way is the building where the head Oh, right there? Yeah. Yeah. We all met back there and prayed. Did that. I guess the funeral portion out here. Huh? Report. Cemetery task force. I don't even know that. <laughs> On the front line against the end apocalypse. Sorry, right, Mr. Negan. <laughs> yeah, if you're out here by yourself at night, this place is creepy. See that light over there? Yeah. That's a camera. Uh -huh. That br that bright light that goes on and off? Uh-huh. It's a motion sensor camera. Oh. It's on someone's gra it's next to someone's grave. When I was here before, I was like, well, why is that light going on and off? I got up there and it was like a little camera. That's for a specific person or to get activity? I don't know. I just assumed, since it was next to someone's grave, I just assumed it was, uh, you know, someone set up a camera just to watch for vandalism or whatever, I assumed. Baby's grave. A couple of them. I guess a day old.
children if they see parents. Maybe lost children? Yeah, that you can't carry to turn. Last guy, I can't imagine that. Hmm? So I can't imagine that. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that's another child's grave right there, all by itself. Two days old. The cemetery is, is public, per se, but you have to have not purchase the plots, but you know, <coughs> signed up for them or whatever the case was. Put a down payment or whatever it is. <coughs> I don't know if it's, Something like that. Mm. Uh, so a lot of that for other family members are just probably surrounding that baby. Mm. They just haven't done anything yet. Yeah. They're our age. Died on the same day. Yeah. At least, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't have been too much older than us. Mm -hmm. I think that camera's all shit now. Got a year on me. <clears throat> I think it's over here. Right there, see that red light flashing? Yeah. I think, yeah. I guess it's just, just to record, I guess. That's nice. They're not here yet. <laughs> <clears throat> That's wrong with uh, the parent. Forty years old. She died young. Yeah. I'm forty. Not yet. Um, you. Yeah. This person died even younger. Thirty-three.
Didn't exactly pick a good night to come out here with soggy ground. You alright? Yeah. Just trying not to uh, sink too much. I have perforated shoes. <clears throat> Same day. I haven't heard any strange noises yet. Mm. You know, when I was out here before and I heard that noise, I was like, what the fuck is that? I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm <laughs> whispering? No, I said I don't know why I'm whispering. Oh. Respect. I think that's cool. Contrail against the moonlight. Listen to uh, any of those creepy bosses I sent you? Yeah, little by little. I've been, I've been uh, catching up to you. Up to you. <clears throat> Sixteen year old kid. Yeah. No, I was here before he had a whole kinds of toys and stuff all over his grave. Yeah, yeah storm or two probably helped that. Yeah.
26 years old. Probably the same family, I would assume. Mm -hmm. He's a mason. Yeah, it's got cut on there. I guess they bought theirs early. I wonder if Seth McFarlane's gonna be buried here. Do I? It's a family guy joke. Um, the last name's McFarlane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spelled differently. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't go to cemeteries often, but I always find them interesting, you know? Oh, it's strange, man. For me, growing up in the New Orleans area. Oh, St. Louis Cemetery, of course. Yes. Yes. All of the, the history. Yeah. What's her name? Madame uh, Laveau, or whatever her name is? Mm -hmm. Thirty-two years old. Is that eighty-five? Eighty-one. Eighty-one? No, no, no. The one you're looking at, James Joseph. Oh. Like 63. I thought maybe an infant, good size. Thank <laughs> you. 
shit. Easy, dog. Just watch the door. <laughs> watch, watch where I was going. I wasn't watching where you were going. Either. So how do you want to go out? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Wanna be buried, cremated, shot in space, frozen? Depending <laughs> <laughs> on age, donate my organs. Hopefully I'll live to be like 99, 104, where my organs are old and decrepit and useless. Out, so no offense. I'm gonna get my miles out of them and, and go from there. I really don't want to give somebody a 40-year-old organ right now. I don't blame you. But Roger was only 36. I imagine buried. That's how I want to go. Oh, be buried. Let the worms take me. Like Carl Sagan once said, we are literally stardust. Mm -hmm. But that's me. Someone has a fire going. Ooh, smells good. There's more Welsh's. Yeah. 1800s. years before you were born. Yep. 1873. I've always found it fascinating to see old graves, you know? What? I just, I've always found it fascinating to see old graves, you know? Oh, no, no, that's... Every year when we go down... <clears throat> The cemetery on Buck Broad, right there. Twice a year we go there to set up the flags and take them down. The uh, Bilbo Cemetery? No, it's just, where, where was I? Right up a Broad Street across from. The, oh, oh, the oh, off. Look at the biggest, yeah. big one, whatever that's called. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking, uh, we'll walk around and just go look in the back part of them. They're all of the granite is so worn, you can barely read it. Really. We've got some old graves out there as well. Mm. Just go to you. Yeah. Up in uh, Natchitoches, the American cemetery that's up there, it's the oldest. Cemetery in Louisiana Purchase. They have graves dating back to the 1700s up there. That's crazy. Yeah. It's 30 years without his wife. Yeah. It hasn't going that long. Bugs aren't bad tonight. No, they aren't. <coughs> they were bad at my mom's days earlier. Oh. Hey, my house, not bad. 
but we're in the same neighborhood, so. Come and pay their respects. I've always found it somewhat sad that you know some of the people who've been buried a long time. You know, the pe there's, this, there's the old saying that says people are only remembered as long as there's someone around to remember them by. I mean. If, all the people who died, you know, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, they're all dead. They're just names on the gravestone. thing I've seen a lot of graves is that saying gone but not forgotten you're forgotten as soon as the last person that who knew you passes away not to sound bleak but unfortunately it is the truth so now with all of the Ancestry.com stuff. Yeah. In that way, yeah, your ancestry. It's, but I don't mean this. But it's, it's making it a lot easier to learn, yeah. to learn and with the digital age. Yeah. Matter of fact, my aunt. Will, there's a good chance I will be long gone but never forgotten. Just for somebody to Google me. And find out who my parents were, who my parents' parents were, everything that I did, where I was employed. Tell me if I was a good father. <laughs> you know, anybody ever? It's my great 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 grandchild. So I have to Google me. <laughs> You'll find out. <clears throat> That kind of thought process is making it easier to not be forgotten. Yeah. <clears throat> Just have to have somebody willing to look it up. Died eighteen ninety five. <clears throat> I think that the uh, Spanish-American War of it somewhere in this general area, if I remember correctly. But this tree was but a little sapling, <laughs> if it even existed. Growing over the graves. From 1900 to 1928. Yeah, that person died young. But then again, it was 120 years ago. Yeah. <clears throat>
few weeks ago, my aunt sent several of us my family history, at least on my dad's side, going back several generations. I haven't read it yet, but right. sent uh, <clears throat> several pictures. There's one of this young guy. I, don't, I need to, I mean to ask my aunt what his name is. He's in the suit, old fashioned picture. I swear he looks just like me. <laughs> maybe, if I, if, if I just. Real dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I showed you the picture, like, damn, that looks like you from like fucking high school or some shit, you know? Or at least a brother, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'll show you the picture when I get back. I have to show you the picture of some, <clears throat> one of my good friends, Russ. His dad, they have a picture of his dad in the kitchen with a mustache, just, just a little, uh, you know, mustache, and with some hair. <laughs> and we always joke that that's Russ's real dad, and it kind of looks like Russ, but the guy's, look, but he looks Mexican. Huh. And, uh, so we always joke that that's his... His, uh, his real biological father. Always laugh if he was a milkman or if he was a work of fucking stuff. This ground is fucking soggy. And I was really hoping to find that soldier's grave. The first time I was out here a couple years ago, I found it. Of course, it was during the day at the time. Right. I need to go back and watch that. See where it is. Of course, you're going to free mud bucks. Shit. Yeah. See those little appetizer going. Huh? Two days old. Frank Skinner, that's a cool name. Yeah. I wonder if he's actually buried in his car. <clears throat> Click and clack. And there were two guys on it. I don't remember their real names, but they were an automotive talk show, really. And they had the caller call in, talk about it was it was like open call, you know, Saturday, just yeah. Whatever you want to talk about, we'll talk about. It. So. Guy called up. I was talking to him about. Uh, this is back this way. Um, this ongoing gag between this guy and his best friend about birthday presents. 
a birthday is an, a birthday present. This one. It was sorry. It was some t shirt. I remember what it was, it was some shirt. Probably some god awful shirt that guy received. So he re gifted it back to his friend. And I gave it to him. But he, and then his friend re gifted it back. And then it evolved back and forth as an ongoing joke to try to make it to where it's extremely difficult for the person to open it up. But they have to work to get it. Huh. Padlocks, chains, guy welded. A, uh, a steel box. I put it in concrete, like put it in a plastic Ziploc bag, vacuum sealed it, poured concrete around it, and then the, uh, he goes, oh, but I want to point out that I, I won. He goes, he goes, I've won for the past, you know, couple years now. I have not had it re-gifted back yet. But the friend took the shirt, put it in a like a ziplock bag, put it in something <clears throat> to preserve it, protect it, and then put it in the glove box of the vehicle. Took pictures of it all. Here it is in the ziplock bag. Here it is in the glove box. Here it is me closing the glove box. It's still in here as <clears throat> the glove box is, or as the vehicle is being set into a one years old. Um, into a uh, car crusher and crushed down to three foot by three foot by three foot cube <laughs> and he got it delivered over there via freight truck flatbed type style forklifted it on the dude's driveway with a birthday car with the pictures in it says happy birthday and uh, there you go. as far as I know he's still trying to break apart the car to get me <laughs> <laughs> The shirt bag. And some of it was probably exaggerated. It was probably larger. If it was three by three, it wouldn't was not officially a full size car. I don't think. Yeah. But it's not gonna get crushed. But still, that's that's how I remember it. And he goes, yep. He goes, he goes. I'm uh, I'm excited but afraid to see how, if and how he uh, regifts it back. <laughs> I thought that'd be embedded in the car. I was like, it could be done. <laughs> it could be done. We had another episode on Click and Clack. We're talking about barbecue pits. And uh, um, this is the wind chime. It goes down back here. Um, I'm trying to light a barbecue pit and see who can light, like how, if you get like the fastest way to light a barbecue pit, you know, to cook the temperature. And it ended, it had like a flamethrower and it had all kinds of other things. And it ended with a satellite being shot up into space, like a rocket, to go into our atmosphere. So they have pictures of the barbecue pit underneath the <laughs> the rockets, and um, and, uh, and it has a picture of it going. All right, it's lit. <coughs> it's good or not, huh? but it's lit. <laughs> ago when I lived in uh, 
my old house over on uh, Morgan Creek neighborhood. We used to have this uh, Christmas party for employees, I guess people who worked with my dad. And one of the things was uh, like a secret Santa. Right. And it wasn't anything, you know, expensive or anything like that, you know. And uh, a bunch of gag gifts. Some of it was nice stuff. And uh, some of it was gag gifts and whatnot. And there was this running gag gift. I remember who bought it originally. It was like a briefcase. But instead of like a normal briefcase, it was a pair of underwear stapled to this piece of wood. Like the rubber band, waistband. Briefs. Got it. Briefs. Yeah. And Briefs. On a handle. It was a briefcase, you Briefs. know? It was a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was a gag gift, you know? Yeah, outstanding. And uh, basically it got re-gifted and re-gifted and re-gifted. I don't remember who ended up with it. In the end, we stopped having these uh, parties. But it was just like a an ongoing running joke gag. Who would who, who, who get it this year, you know? Want to go down this way? Yeah. I'm going to have to do that. <clears throat> Scouts. Don't even ask me where. It was... I'm sure you could buy it at some gag store or online, I'm sure. I'm going to make one. I'm going to go buy, <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some, some type of weird, funky, like men's, like yeah. men's briefs with hearts on it or something. I remember this one was, uh, I think... Christmas it was, trees. It'll be, it'll be Christmas trees. <laughs> It'll be Christmas tree underwear briefs, and uh, I'll make a case out of it. And uh, I remember, and I remember this pair was a brown pair of underwear, men's underwear, with a white band. I guess to hide the shit stains, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool. You ask me why I wear red? It's to hide the blood. <laughs> this guy got the right idea. He's wearing brown today. <laughs> like, oh. Anything, he's gonna poop himself. <laughs> I hope they make another one. Oh, they're in the process of doing it. Oh, there? Yeah. Ryan Reynolds is all on board. I mean, part of, I think he's either executive producer or <laughs> assistant producer or something. He's rocking and rolling with it. Farmer, that's nice. Farmer. Can't wait until uh, the theater opens up by the mall opens up or in the mall. Oh yeah, I don't know, but this one not open. No. The other one is. Yeah. I just don't feel like driving all that way. Cause this. So far. Granted, you can't walk to it, but literally, leave your house, you're on the interstate. Well, you know what I mean. Two minutes in the <laughs> Well, when one's a third of a mile from your house and the other's three miles away, it's a convenience thing, you know? I can walk faster to the one in the mall than I could to the other one. It just doesn't interest me to sit in comfy seats or to eat food at the theater. I go, I watch the movie, and I leave. And that's it. I need to see about the that theater. I know you can do it. Oh, yeah. I need to see for scouts, maybe? I don't know, for me. Me and the kids, family, <laughs> whoever. Get 20 feet, whatever it is, I'll just pay it. Yeah. Who wants to come watch what I, the movie I picked? Come on. Maybe you can uh, charge a mission, you know, just trying to earn back some of the money. Five bucks, whatever it is. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm trying to get looking for that. I'm going to do that right now. Your line and Scott have birthday coming up. Put this the web page on it. Remind me to look at it when I get home. The Bruno family. 
I know it. I know it, Bruno. Yeah. I know it, Bruno. I wonder if Don paid for all these. <laughs> it's going past the way. I get into the middle of a conversation I shouldn't be a part of. Huh? When you say, oh, I shouldn't be slacking. No, I was I wonder if I'm slacking. Like, we uh, have family plots of people that were born. You know. Yeah? Oh, they're for yours. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, it, <coughs> should I already have something done? Hmm? You're talking about dad. See, mom and dad have a good time. I don't know. Really. You know, if you're looking at this name the wrong way, you can swear it says test testicular. I thought so, too. <laughs> I kind of glanced at it. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no disrespect to the man, but. So what you have planned this whole weekend? I think last time I asked you, you didn't have any of it. No, they're spectacular other than Frozen 1 and, and or 2 movie theater. You did say that. She died on his birthday. Oh, sure enough. Interesting. One last birthday present. Here I am. <coughs> Kind of cool though. In years to come, who knows? I'll have cemeteries where you just walk up to them and press a button, and the 3D image of you come out, and you get to talk a little bit about your life yeah. and your family. Look, someone drove over that person's grave. Maybe uh should invent something like that. Assuming it doesn't exist already. Mm -hmm. 
Some of these are hard to read. I'm gonna lie, this makes me want to go to Disney World. Really? Yeah. The uh, haunted house? Yeah. Or haunted mansion? Haunted mansion. <clears throat> That's a neat grave. 1864 and 1820. Wonder if these uh, are Mr. Lionel's relatives. That's what I was looking at. I think I need to call him. I haven't uh, worked with him yet. Thirty-six. Oh, wow. 1939 to 10, 1936, still kicking. Yeah. Mary, February 6, 1959. Wait, she was 20. <clears throat> Did you leave your wife? Yeah. I think that's. 59. Uh, I think that's real sweet that couples get to break bear together like that. Daddy Up in Arkansas. Okay. Outside of uh, Yaleville. Okay. Guess your mom, your mom has a plot ne next to you? Or? Uh, no, uh, not yet. Uh, I'm not sure what her plans are. I mean, I know where her will is. I have a copy of it somewhere. But, uh, <clears throat> when, uh, I don't I've really asked her, I don't think. If she had a plot or anything like that, I don't think she does. Let's see what my, my parents' plans are. 